will howl up. Wonder how much this does. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a best of three versus Alex the RNG Lord Scratch That. He's now a Zoolite Pokey. His link will be in the description down below. He's a good friend of mine, uh, fellow VGC player, multiple worlds competitor. And yeah, we're going to be doing a best of three versus him. I'll be using my Thievil Deluxe team that I released a rental code for the other day. And I mean, like, I've only been able to test it out on the showdown ladder and on the casual battle ladder. So it'd be a good, it'd be a good thing to uh, test it out in a best of three versus a highly skilled player like him. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited to uh, see how well it performs. Uh, but if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and yeah, all of that supports me, and I really appreciate all the support we've been getting on the channel. We've been growing like crazy, and I'm on I'm on the road to 20k, so I'm hoping we can do well. Alright, so actually a very scary team coming out from Alex here. Um, I feel pretty comfortable actually leading off with Tapu Lele and Thievil. It beats a lot of what he has here. Trick Room would be very scary, however, uh, I think I have the tools to deal with it. He doesn't have any Defiant Pokemon, and Landris looks relatively safe here. Uh, I might actually bring Dragapult, though. Dragapult might be good. I also really like my Kartana. I'll bring Kartana, actually. I'm kind of scared of the, the Trick Room lead. The Trick Room lead could mess me up. So maybe I actually... Hmm. Let's do this. We won't lead off with Lele. We'll actually go Zapdos and the Evolve lead. We'll bring Lele in the back. My last Pokemon is going to be Kartana. And the reason I'm doing this is because the uh, Zapdos will allow me to taunt his Cresselia on lead if he decides to try to go for a Trick Room, which would be very scary for us. Uh, on top of that, uh, Kartana in the back seems very nice versus this team. I don't have to deal with the immediate threat of a <laughs> Landers intimidating me, so that's really good. But yeah, no, I, I'm pretty nervous for this because I've only faced Alex a couple of times and I think we're one for one against each other. I beat him in a uh, tournament called the Stall Wars tournament that used to be run by Marcus OK, who has now stopped running tournaments, unfortunately. Uh, but I believe he also beat me in some other Mount Silver tournament. So we're one for one right now, even against each other. Hopefully I can do well against him. Send him a GLHF. Ooh, we have pretty much identical trainer cards. Alright. Leads off with Reggie, Lucky, Tapu Fini. I actually like that lead quite a bit. Alright. So I feel pretty comfortable just going for a Snarl here and switching in my Tapu Lele. It's a pretty solid play. Uh, we should take minimal damage from this Reggie Lucky too, considering how fast our team is. Snarl's really solid here. Let's go ahead and get in the Tapu Lele. I believe we're going to outspeed Reggie Lucky, unless it's like absolute maximum speed. I mean, mm, we're timid max speed, I'm pretty certain. I haven't actually speed crept for Reggie Lucky, but timid max speed probably is fine. Not many people are running absolute maximum speed on this thing, because it's pretty unnecessary. An Electroweb, however, would be really unfortunate. All right, so we're going to switch out here. Send in our boy Tapu Lele, or our girl Tapu Lele. Set up the Psychic Terrain, get our seed off, and we'll go for the Snarl. All right, there it is. That's plus one special defense. We should be able to take pretty much any hit from these things. And they Dynamax, which is actually pretty good for me, in my opinion. I don't mind dealing with a Dynamax Tapu Lele if that's what they decided to go for here. Yep, there's the, t or Tapu Fini is what I meant. Tapu Fini Dynamaxing is actually pretty good for me. I'm assuming it's going to be a Moonblast. Or uh, a Max Starfall into what was the Galarian Zapdos at some point. We get the Snarl off onto both these Pokemon doing pretty decent damage to Regieleki. Lowering the special attack output, which is always good. And maybe it's like Thunder. They might be spamming Thunder. And Feeble manages to avoid, which is great for me. Alright. There's the Max Starfall. Hopefully into the Lele. Yep, we're good. We eat that up like Reese's Puffs. And we are still faster than this um, Tapu Fini. However, I don't think I want to stay in here. I think I'll actually just throw off another Snarl. And uh, switch in my boy Kartana to eat the hit. I don't want to get in Zapdos. 
but I'm also pretty scared of this Regieleki. <laughs> this Regieleki could do solid damage to Kartana, so as long as I land the second Snarl, I'm not in a bad spot. Alright, let's get into Kartana. So unfortunately, we've revealed our whole team, but I think that's fine. Get the second Snarl off. Regieleki's almost at half health, which is phenomenal. Gonna lower the Tapu Fini's damage output once more. There's the second Electra Web. Estival just pulling its weight here. He's missed two Electra Webs on the Estival, which is actually super important. And regardless of what the Tapu Fini goes for, I'm actually going to be uh, resistant to it. Especially with that Assault Vest, we'll be able to eat it up. Okay. Um, Kartana is slightly threatened here. I think what I want to do is pick up a KO on that Regieleki. It would be really useful. But two Snarls would do it anyways. I could try to get in Lele again. The damage would be pretty minimal. Actually, I might just attack. I could just attack and KO that Regieleki, because it's a real pain in my butt right now. I'll just go for the Raw Leaf Blade. Alright. So Reggie Lucky should go down, or whatever wants to come in here wouldn't appreciate that either. Typo Fini cannot do much damage to this Kartana because it is at minus two and I do have an Assault Vest on it, as well as a ton of special defense investment. Literally maximum. <laughs> I mean, not maximum because I'm jolly in nature, but I could like slap a, a sassy nature on this thing or something and just get this huge, huge uh, boost in my special defense. But that's pretty bad for Kartana, so jolly in nature is fine. Let's see what ends up taking this um, this Leaf Blade. Probably nothing that actually wants to tank it. But Landers, that's fine. We could land a crit. And I think I like the position I'm in. There's the Starfall. Shouldn't be doing too much to Thievel. Yep. Eat that up. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Can I get a crit here? Not quite. And that Landris does not want to take a foul play, I can tell you that much. Landris does not want to take a foul play right now. I'll actually go for that right now. Foul play seems like a decent play. Uh, I actually might start uh, the boosting my speed as well, that could be useful. I'll go for that. Um, or actually, do I want to get in my Zapdos? No, that's not worth it. I'm only at minus one speed. Maybe I save this thing until after the Landris is gone. Go for the Foul Play and the Landorus. Mm, I don't know if I want to switch in Lele, though. I mean, Zapdos comes in for free, I think. We'll do that. I want to keep this Kartana healthy for the late game, because it looks like it's going to be a really good Dynamax option. wonder how much this Foul Play is going to do. As they go for the Protect, let's see if they U-turn. Foul play. That does pick up a KO. Phenomenal. Thievel really pulling its weight in this game. And I can still toss off a Snarl against that uh, stupid Reggie Alecki. So I'll actually just go for that. We'll go for a Snarl. I could actually Howl. Bro, what if I Howled here? That'd be so bad. That'd be such a bad play. I'm not going to do that. But I really want to. Let's go for the Snarl. Regieleki likely doesn't take it very well. And we'll detect here. Scarf Tapu Lele is looking really, really nice in the endgame as long as I can remove the Aleki. There's the Snarl. Maybe I should have foul played it just to secure the KO. Yeah, looks like it's going to be close and I'm going to be under speeding it next turn. I mean, I could just get in Kartana and Dynamax next turn if I really need to. As he ends up going for the Thunderbolt, which is huge. That's huge. Oh, we're in. We are in, guys. We are in. So if I want to secure this KO, it's in my best interest just to go for the Foul Play into the Aleki. And I can get in my Kartana now, pretty much for free. There's the foul play, that'll secure the KO. No need to risk a Snarl miss, because it always misses right when you need it to not. 
There's the Moonblast, likely into the boy. Yep. Bro, Thievil's about to go stupid. Thievil is about to go stupid on this man. Dude, Heatran, see if I care. Heatran, never heard of him. Uh, let me toss off a, a Howl here. I don't want to Dynamax the Kartana because it's going to go down anyways. I can win with my... Uh, I can win with my Zapdos at this point. So I'll just go ahead and Howl and go for the Sacred Sword into the Heatran to get good damage off on it. We'll Howl up. wonder how much this does. Oh, we nearly pick up a KO. There's the Moonblast. We're going to lose both of our Pokemon, but we just win with uh, Scarf Lele and... Uh... Oh no, we live. Let's see if he Heat Waved. He does. He lands it on both. Alright, we end up winning now with uh, with Galarian Zapdos. And what I'm actually going to do here... Uh, it, it, it's a pretty controversial play. Pretty controversial play. I know it's not Choice Scarf on the... Um, on the Heatran. What I want to do is avoid revealing my Choice Scarf on my Tapu Lele. And the only way to do that is to Dynamax the Lele right now. Which is a very questionable play from my end, but I kind of have to. Because Tapu Lele is modest max speed. I'm always going to outspeed the Tapu Finny. I'm perfectly fine here. We can go ahead and Thunderous Kick into that Heatran. And we will Dynamax and Max Mindstorm into the Finny. Unless I'm missing something, this should be a perfectly fine play. And I'm just doing this to avoid revealing Choice Scarf, which he might catch on to. Because I, I think, from his perspective, I should have always Dynamaxed the, uh... I should have always Dynamaxed the Zapdos. But hey, we get to see Thunderous Kick do something here. There's the Protect. Alright, we're fine. Thunderous Kick goes into nothing. And we get to click this Max Mindstorm on that Tapu Fini. Yep, it does not KO, but I think we're fine. Because I just have to Max Mindstorm into the um, Heatran next turn. Oh no, we're fine. He ended up going for the Moonblast into the Lele. Alright, time to click Thunderous Kick. And Max Mindstorm into that Tapu Fini. Alright, cool. We end up picking up game one pretty handily. Uh, I mean, he almost brought it back with the Heatran. Heatran is very scary for my team. He might try to go Trick Room, but I'm really glad I hadn't revealed Taunt or Choice Scarf yet. Let's go ahead and grab his card. And we'll play with the same rules here. Alright. Same team. And let the battle begin. Maybe we'll switch music. Let's go with uh, Spectrier. Now that Regieleki is a huge problem for my team. I cannot deny that. I cannot deny that any longer. So I'd like to remove it. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do here is... Hmm. I mean, Scarf Lele doesn't outspeed it. I know for a fact it doesn't. I can go with Thievil Kartana, I think. On the lead. We'll bring Tapu Lele in the back. And I feel a little bit better about bringing Landorus to this game than, than Zapdos. Personally, I just feel like I get more out of it. Uh, and I think I'm going to go with that. And this is actually going to be a really, really interesting first turn. If they lead off a Leki, it's in my best interest to... Um, I think it's in my best interest to, like, snarl and get in Lele again, but play a little bit more carefully. I'll probably just go for the immediate foul play on it uh, the next turn to try to pick up a KO. Because it does have really low defense and really, and really decent attack. 100 is fine, you know? So I'm thinking snarl into foul play will do it, considering how much we did with snarl. <laughs> And if he doesn't end up leading off a Leki, I'm in a really, really solid position. Reggie Leki, honestly, pulling its weight in his team. It's really scary for me. Urshifu Reggie Leki, okay. 
Um, I think I'm fine with this lead. Actually, this is a really scary lead for me. Hmm. Controversial play. But I think what I'm going to do is switch in Landers for Thievul. And just immediately max Airstream into this Urshifu. Because it could be a huge issue for me. And as long as I get this Intimidate off, it isn't a terrible spot for me. Like, Wicked Blow would hurt, but Close Combat won't, won't do nearly as much now. And I'll also regain my speed after this. And Landers will also be at plus one speed, which is really nice. Reggie Alecki is honestly the thing that holds his team together, so if I can remove it soon, that's going to be really important. Kind of hoping he close combated into the Landorus instead. Because this is going to do a decent amount to Kartana, even Dynamaxed. There's the Electroweb, doesn't affect Landorus. He does connect it on Kartana. He doesn't Dynamax too, which means that Urshifu is in trouble. Is he close combats? Okay. Get this max airstream off. Gonna get our speed back. And he isn't focus sash, which is super important. That's super important to this match. I actually have to preserve my um I have to preserve this Kartana. So I might switch out immediately. Cause Tapu Fini could be a huge issue for me. Oh, he brings in Landris. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because Earthquake's really solid here. Even versus like minus one Regieleki. All right. Um, he might he might max Airstream, which is really scary. I'm gonna have to Earthquake here. I don't want to go Thievul, but I also don't want to lose Kartana. I think I can beat the Tapu Finu with Thievul and with Thievul and my boy, but this is a really scary play. I'm gonna just max Airstream again. Into the, um... I think my play is max airstream into the, uh, Landorus. Or maybe a Lucky. I'll go a Lucky. See, he does Dynamax. Who's it gonna be? There's the Electroweb. He does connect it on the Kartana. Shouldn't do too much, but this is still scary. Earthquake going to go off. I'm probably going to knock out my own Kartana. Yep. Oh, Reggie Lucky survives. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Especially since he likely airstreamed here. Tell me you didn't airstream. He does airstream. That's actually really bad for me. Alright. Lele and Thievul, you're going to have to carry. I don't think I can outspeed that uh, Regieleki anymore. Plus one speed, that's way too scary for me. And he is a life orb. Okay. So luckily, Tapu Lele is naturally faster than Landris. However... However, even like with the choice scarf and stuff, the like the Alecky is going to be outspeeding my Thievul, I think. Let me check something. Checking Pokemon Showdown. Ah, I really don't have time to check that. Okay. So I think it's in my best interest to uh, go for the raw Psychic on the Landorus. And just foul and just fake tears as soon as possible. I don't know if I can actually. I have to like. I have to not get hit by this um. By this Electroweb if I want to win. So I have to fake tears the Landers and go for a uh, Psychic into it. He Volt switched. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because I'm I'm gonna outspeed the Landers here. I'm gonna get some major damage off, and I think I can win with Snarl as long as I play my cards right. 
Tapu Fini. That's gonna be that's gonna be tough. I don't think I'm KOing anymore. Okay. Let's see how much this does. I think I have to crit. Fake tears. I have to crit if I want to beat it. Oh, he's faster. Okay. Yep, jolly nature. I was hoping he'd be adamant. Unfortunately, that's going to be game there. So I really have to think out this lead. How do I beat this Aleki reliably? We're going to forfeit right there. Run. And yep. How do I beat this thing reliably? Landris isn't too scary as long as I can remove Aleki early on. That's the thing. Because Aleki speed control is a huge issue for me. I could lead off Landris. That is an option. Dragapult? Ooh. Dragapult might be good too. Let me think. Because I don't get... I don't lose speed from that. But how good is Dragapult in this matchup, really? Especially since it's special Dragapult. And there's a Finny on the other side of the field that they're always going to bring. There's no way they don't bring the Finny. Hmm. It's a huge game when it comes to speed. Um... I don't think he's bringing Urshifu anymore. I don't think that's, like, ever a smart play for him in this situation. Hmm. I think my play is to remove Aleki as soon as possible, so I'll just lead off Thievul, Tapu Lele, and I should be able to just completely remove it by going for Snarl and Psychic. And that'll always ca that'll always KO it, and then I'm not too scared of it. Kartan in the back's still really good, and I don't know about Landorus anymore. Landorus, it, it's good, right? But only to a certain extent. I th Yeah, we'll, we'll go Landorus once more. Yeah, Aleki has to go immediately. That's the thing in this matchup. And I think he knows that I know now. Because once Aleki's gone, I can I can move around. I'm free to, like, not be scared of his speed tiers anymore. Choice Scarf Tapu Lele is good. Thievul's still good. It's all good. But Kartana looks like it's a huge piece in winning this game. I still have to be really fearful of that Urshifu on the lead, though. I just don't think he's going to lead off with it anymore. Come on. Okay, Reggie Lucky Landers, that's actually a phenomenal lead for me. Because I threaten him very, very hard. And he doesn't want to get intimidated, is the thing. I think he's going to get rid of Thievul immediately, is the issue. Uh, I'm just really scared of the initial. Because the, the initial attack is what's really rough here. I think I have to go with my gut. I'm going to double down on Aleki. I'm going to double down on Aleki. I'm going to go for the Snarl. I'm going to go for the, uh, for the Psychic. This is a really risky play, though. Because I can't switch out Thievor or I lose all my speed boosts. I don't think he's going to Dynamax immediately. It's it's not in his best it's not in his best um, interest right now. Because I can come back with uh, my own Landorus. And this is still going to do a lot. Let's see if he has Superpower. He is going to Dynamax immediately. Okay. I think I'm fine with that, uh, just because Kartana goes really... It, it does really, really well now. I 
And it depends who he targets down here. I think I'd prefer to lose my Lele earlier, actually. Get my Snarl off on the Finny. I'm faster with my uh, Choice Scarf, so I'll get a decent amount of damage off here. Kind of wish I faked Tears. Special Defense drop? Nope. Okay, there's the Max Airstream. Into Thievil. He has identified the threat. This guy has identified the threat. And he now has a speed boost. Luckily, I do have that... Um, I do have that special attack drop on that thing. So I think what I'll do here is I'll go Kartana, and I can switch out my Lele for Landorus here and get the Intimidate off, and not be in a terrible position. So I'll go hard Landorus. And I have to Dynamax here. Hmm. I mean, I could Overgrowth. I could Overgrowth. But he's likely going to protect his Finny. So maybe I... Maybe I Airstream. Nah, I just Overgrowth into Landorus, I think. There's no way he doesn't protect the Finny. And my own Landorus will help me live this hit a little bit better. Especially if he decides to go for another Airstream into the Kartana. And I can start cycling, I think. And Dynamax Kartana does have really great physical bulk. Alright, he does switch out. Let's see if it's Heatran. It's a Leki. Alright. That's not terrible. Depends who we Airstreamed into here. I hope it's Kartana. Because I can protect Landorus next turn. And Aleki isn't too threatening to Kartana right now. There's the Airstream. Kartana? Alright, that's a little rough. That's a little rough, but I can still protect next turn. And this should be doing decent damage. In fact, I think he's in range of two after I get my um after I get my terrain up. Which he could, you know, catch on to and switch in the finny. Alright. Uh, I think my play here is always to protect. Uh, that should allow me to live the hit. And man, I'm really scared of this Landorus. But I'm also very scared of the Aleki. I'll just max Overgrowth Landorus again. Aleki shouldn't do too much while I'm Dynamaxed, and he only has one turn left to Dynamax. God, Aleki's such a cool Pokemon. to protect. Let's see if he protects. Well, no, his Landorus would have protected already. So I think we're fine. There's the Electroweb. Let's see if Kartana can avoid it. Unfortunately, no. We're going to get a speed drop here, but I can switch out Kartana. Landorus should be going down this turn, which is really important. There's the Airstream. Hopefully into my Landorus. Okay, good. We survive. We survive, which means I can take out this Landorus right here, and then next turn I can take out the Finny, I think. Because I'm going to get a Beast Boost. And I don't really fear that, um... That Aleki. But man, is Aleki scary in this matchup, dude. Especially now that it's at plus two speed. I have to get rid of it soon, because Kartana does not enjoy that. Once I'm, like, not Dynamaxed, it's a huge issue. What's actually good here, um is I can get in the Lele, probably. I, I feel like if he goes into the, um... If he goes into the Finny here, it's not very good for him, because he has to protect it. There's no way he doesn't protect Finny if he comes in. But I'm wondering what's in the back. I don't know if it's Heatran again. That'd be really scary. I'm hoping it's not Heatran. It's Urshifu. Okay. 
So we know that we actually knock out Urshifu. I 100% can knock out Urshifu, but he might actually anticipate that. Ah, dang it, this is scary. Maybe... This is a really risky play. This is a really risky play. I want to save my Kartana. I'm going to fly into the Urshifu. I'm going to send in Kart I'm going to send in Tapu Lele. I have to save Kartana 100% because he's going to close combat. And as long as he um close combat's here, I'm not in a bad spot. I don't want to earthquake cuz it's actually not doing much to Aleki, or it's still doing a lot, but I'm going to hurt my team more than I actually hurt it. So we're going to enter Dynamax a turn early there, unfortunately. And hopefully he ended up just going for Electroweb into close combat. Because Finny times 4 resists that. And if he misses the Electroweb, that's actually huge for me. I might actually be able to sweep with uh, Dazzling Gleam, if I'm lucky. There's the Electroweb. Hopefully he didn't just target into the landers. That'd be so bad for me. There it is. We times 4 resist. Okay. I'm going to fly up. And there is absolutely no way the lander stays in here. Or there's no way the Urshifu stays in here. And I think even if it does, I end up winning with my Kartana in the end. So my play is going to be to... Uh, I think I have to... I have to Moonblast into this Aleki. There's the withdrawal. Good. Tell me I take the Electro Web. Thunderbolt. That's not it. We're going to be doing a decent chunk here, but I think he's going to end up taking the game. That's close. Okay. I mean, we still at speed. I could go for an Earthquake pretty safely, actually. Because my Kartana does not drop to that, and he would have to have extreme speed to uh, KO the, the Landris, which I don't think he has on this set. They're usually mono-electric, from what I can tell. So I'll go for the Earthquake here. And I will also go for the Leaf Blade into the Aleki, and if I can get it into a situation where I have both my Landris and my Kartana on the field, I can win. So I always Earthquake, and I have to hope I can eat this hit. Earthquake is definitely knocking out the Finny here. There's the Protect. There's the Thunderbolt. I need you to eat it. Okay, we can definitely eat that. Kartana might be in range. That's so sad. Because uh, <laughs> he's going to sucker punch the Landorus. 100%. There's no way he doesn't sucker punch this Landorus. God, this is scary. I'm going to protect the Landorus. That's my only That's my only out, right? He has to have sucker punch. And he has to sucker punch Landorus, I think. That's, that's the way I win. He has to sucker punch the Landris right here. And then I can win. So I'll Leaf Blade the Finny. I don't, I don't think this is a throw. Ah, yep. That was the only way. That was the only way, unfortunately. Alright, good game to Alex. That was a solid set. I had a great time playing against him. But unfortunately, could not get it. Uh, crit Earthquake would not have done it. Um, and like I said, like he has Sucker Punch. The only way I could have won that was if he ended up Sucker Punching into Landris. So I had to go for the Protect there. 
So good game to Alex, a solid set. I had a great time playing. He's a phenomenal player. Go ahead and check him out. His link will be in the description down below to his Twitch and his YouTube. But if you guys enjoyed the set, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because I'll be bringing you guys more best of threes in the future. Have a nice night. Bye.